Coming back from a two-week break, Star Wars Rebels 7th episode titled Iron Squadron introduced us to a bunch of new characters in the form of Iron Squadron, a group of freedom fighters flying around in an old YT-2400, which fans will recognize as the same ship Dash render pilots in Shadows of the Empire. It's not long before their escapades draw the attention of Grand Admiral Thrawn, who sends a commander to deal with them. The Iron Squadron is very similar to the Ghost Crew, only if Ezra was in charge, and we see the leader of the band, whose name is Mart, is also related to Commander Sato, who is his uncle. Uh, Commander Sato also factors into this episode as he wishes to see his nephew return to him alive since it's his only living relative. All his other relatives have since perished in the war against the Empire. I hope that these characters actually stick around for a couple more episodes or we see them here here and there. It's really interesting to see how they mirror the Ghost Crew so closely, but are also completely different. I really like it, and they're flying around in this really cool YT-2400 that's falling apart and everything. It's really cool. The only problem so far I've had with Rebels is that we haven't really had any progression on the whole Force, Darth Maul, Vision sort of storyline that we got a big hint at in the Holocron episode. Uh, I hope we actually do get a follow-up from that really soon, since I'm pretty much approaching the halfway mark on episodes. I'm not sure how long season 3 was, but going off the other season episodes, I'm guessing we're getting pretty close. I think episode 10 is about the halfway mark, so we're getting there pretty close. But all in all, I really enjoyed this episode. It was a really fun, exciting episode. I'm going to give this episode an 8 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my latest video, I hope you enjoyed it. While you're here, why not check out another one of my reviews, like and subscribe my channel for more reviews and videos, and follow me on Twitter at Matt underscore FOS. Thanks guys, and I will see you all next time.